In the comments, Becca Michelle suggested that in the place where links generally are, I put my Facebook and my Twitter and such things like that when I'm not posting a link, because I'm never sure what to put when I'm not posting a link. If you read the place where links generally are when there is no link, you would know these things. I don't know how many of you actually read them, but I know how many of you read them and leave comments. Anyways, that was a good suggestion, Becca Michelle. I think I'm going to do that. I mean, if any of the EAG members are interested in such things, if, if that's something you want. I, mean, I don't know if that's something you want or not. You might not care. You, you might not even use Twitter or Facebook. I, mean, guys, I don't know. I don't know what you guys use. As far as I know, you probably have everything or you probably have nothing. I don't know if that's something you want or not. If you did have a Facebook, would you want me on your friends list? I mean, I don't know Is that, if that's something you want or not. Hey, guess what? This is my theme song. In the comments, a big C production writes, Lol, I feel bad for Kyle in the snow. I hate cold weather, but at least he got something to eat, haha. -ha. That's very true, and apparently eating comes very highly recommended. They say it's good for your health. I don't know who they are. I'm assuming they are the ones who are not us, but they recommend eating five meals, five small meals a day, and they say that that is a good thing for your health. And I said to myself, Kyle? Because that's what I call myself. I call myself Kyle. What if I don't like eating that much? I mean, why couldn't I have just one big meal that would last me the entire day, and we could call it Super Meal, and it could reign supreme above all other meals, despite what all other meals are called. I call the big one Bitey. You know what else comes highly recommended? Pooping. They say that it's really good for your health. Now, I'm no scientific rocket, but it seems to me that if you're supposed to poop everything that you eat, and if you're supposed to eat five small meals a day, then doesn't it make sense that you're supposed to poop five times a day? That seems like a lot of pooping. That seems like a lot of wasted time on life-sustaining activities such as pooping and eating, and less time for fun things like watching my videos, or playing Xbox, or doing absolutely anything else. Now obviously we can't just do away with one of these things, we have to do away with them both. Because if you ate a lot but didn't poop, you'd be full of crap. But if you tried to poop without eating, there'd be nothing to poop. So my thinking is really stupid and you shouldn't listen to me. With that in mind, I decree to the world that we should stop eating and stop pooping. I mean, that's a great idea. It would leave so much more time for fun things, isn't it? it isn't it a good idea? I thought so. I thought you'd say that. That's why I already posted it to the internet. And it's all, the word has already gotten out onto the street. So let's see what people on the street are saying. I can't f***ing drive it like that. You know, on second thought, Kyle has a pretty good suggestion. We can't really drive like that. I mean, there's nothing wrong with pooping. Everybody does it. Everybody eats. There's, there's, there's really nothing wrong with it. That is unless you're one of those uptight fanatics. You know the kind. The kind that when you tell them you're pooping, they tell you that you're a dirty sinner and that's concentrated evil coming out the back of you. Chances are that that person's not an EAG member, so we should recruit them so that they could lighten up. I mean, if they pooped once in a while, we know that they would lighten up. And I don't just mean that in the metaphorically suggestive way that you just took my statement. I also mean that they would lose weight. I mean, come on, if they never pooped, Think of all the extra weight that they would lose when they finally did. You probably wouldn't even recognize them. Plus, I don't know about you, but I have some of my best ideas when I'm pooping. At least, I think so. For all I know that they could be crappy ideas. You see what I did there? For those of you who are still watching this video, thank you for putting up with my crap. To those of you who, however, have navigated away from this video due to the content of the video, it's okay. I understand. And I promise, one day, you'll come to terms with your difficulty with poopy. Maybe if you got a little bit more roughage, or maybe consider a laxative. I don't know, I'm not a doctor, why are you taking my advice? You're probably thinking to yourself right now, Tom, you're not making any sense. Or you're probably thinking corn dog. Well consider this, my friend, corn dogs make you poopy. Yeah, think about it. Also, you're right, I don't make sense, I make dollars. Why don't you like change? What's wrong with change? It's just as good as paper money, and you can still buy things with it, and you can still spend it in all the same places you can spend paper money. And they even have those machines where it'll count how much change you have, give you a receipt that you take to the cashier, and then the cashier changes your receipt and you give them the cash money for it. It's a perfect system. 